Hello everybody, my name is Bill and today I will be unboxing a Gibson LPJ 2014. So, let's begin. Let's see what's inside. A soft case, a Gibson soft case, which uh, pretty sure has it has a guitar inside. Let's take a look. Now to begin, uh, this case is pretty decent, pretty decent for a case to begin with. Um, for the price range, it's really good. And let's take a look. Here's the baby right here. Put this down over here. This, my friends, is the Gibson LPJ 2014. Um, a little being economical guitar from Gibson, which is kind of funny in a way because Gibson is kind of pricey. So it's the least pricey Gibson you could get. Uh, let's begin. Nice vintage burst finish. And uh, what I like is you really see the grain in it. Um, it follows the same rules as any other Gibson uh, other than the neck. Uh, it's not a mahogany neck, it's a maple neck. Rolls with fingerboard as usual. Cryogenically frozen frets. Uh, mahogany body with a maple top. Real maple top, you actually get to see it. Um, you actually see some of the grain in it, which is kind of cool for the price. Um, it's a very nice, I mean, I thought it was going to be kind of an unfinished finish, but it's very, very smooth. Um, I really like the neck. Uh, I don't like guitars that have a very glossy neck because it tends to stick when you play it. Um, cruising, cruising Deluxe Tuners, um, which is surprising for this price. Um, Zebra 61. Humbuckers with Alnico 5 magnets, which is really cool too. Uh, speed knobs, not the normal knobs. Um, what I like is something different from 2013 is, well, first of all, you can see the zebras. Uh, before it was, I believe, uh, 490Rs and 498Ts in the 2013, but they had this cover on them, so they kind of look like they kind of look like cheap, um, active pickups with plastic cover. You won't see the brand, but you know what I mean. Um, but now we have a really cool look. Um, instead of all this weird chrome, they actually have a nice uh, satin, satin metal finish. So it's, it's not that weird chrome anymore. It's, it's actually something that matches the body this time. Um, out of the box, really, really nice setup. Um, uh, it's traditional weight relief, so it's a bunch of uh, corked out pieces of mahogany. And that's what I really like. I mean, when you look at the back, you really see the grain of the mahogany. Um, the 2013s, you tend to really notice the, uh, the holes and the pits in it, but this is really smooth. Uh, like any Gibson, glued on neck. Uh, this year they put the uh, larger bits, heads for the strap. Um, Three-way toggle, as usual. Uh, really solid, just like any other Gibson. Um, two pneumatic bridge, tailpiece. 
Um, this one, which I really like, uh, the uh, it's set really low, and uh, it's uh, equipped with nine to forty six strings, um, which is nice because I like using lighter strings, and because of the actual scale, it's easier to play with as well. Um, just feels looser when you're playing. And uh, that's pretty much it. You have the LPG font right there, the Gibson headstock. Again, this is a maple neck and not a mahogany neck. Personally, I like that idea because it tends to be a lot more durable. Mahogany necks um, zip a bit. And that's it. Let's see what else is in here. I want to put it down. There you go. Um, instruction manual. The uh, yellow key for the truss rod. Inspection certificate by Gibson USA. And uh, something to mention uh, that a lot of people don't get. Uh, one thing about buying a Gibson or is that it's actually made in the States. Um, and they really deal with uh, a lot of things being from um, from a more expensive source, uh, just because it's, it's, it's local. Well, just to get the, I don't know about the soft cases, I'd have to find out if this is made in the US or Canada, but I know the hard cases are made in Canada, and they're really much more expensive than the regular case you'd buy that's made in China. I believe the Gibson hard case is somewhere in the 200s and a regular case by a known brand is in the under 100, maybe 100. Um, so yeah, that's the next thing I'll be buying, a hard case. And that's it. Pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, Stay tuned for my next video, which will be a demo on a nice little Marshall 8100 hybrid amplifier. Stay tuned. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and uh, leave the comments below.